At the May gathering of the Presbytery of Philadelphia, we hosted several brief presentations playfully titled, Thinking on the Edges. These talks explored how various church leaders are being used as transforming agents in their congregations and communities, leading from the edges of innovation and possibility. The edges of ministry creativity look different for all of us. Hear now what the edges of church ministry look like as ruling elder Chris Scott of the First Presbyterian Church in Germantown reflects on being the change, fighting HIV AIDS in sub-Saharan Africa. That was a clip of a friend of mine, Summer Jordan, who performed um, a rendition of Michael Jackson's Human Nature at my first charity event back in February 2013. The event was called Be the Change, stemming from the Ghana quote, Be the Change you want to see in the world. And for the last three years, Be the Change is an annual event where entertainment and philanthropy join hand in hand. Local towns come together to share their gifts, whether it's playing an instrument or singing or dancing or spoken word, all in an effort to raise money for the Keep a Child Alive organization. Keep a Child Alive is dedicated to providing life-saving treatment, food, love, and support to millions of children and families affected by AIDS and HIV in Africa and India. Despite not being a top story in the 10 o'clock news on the cover of the front page of the newspaper, the work against HIV is still ongoing, and so many are losing the battle every day. Mm -hmm. I can share with you the staggering statistics, but instead I want you to picture this. In 2003, a young woman entered a clinic in Soleil, South Africa, with her child who was dying of HIV. She simply didn't have the money for the medication, known as ARVs, to keep her child alive. Like you or I, she, would have done, she wanted to do everything she could to prevent her son from dying. So she simply stayed at the clinic until they gave her the medication she needed. Eventually, a missionary by the name of Lee Blake overheard the conversation and paid for the medication. That's how Keep a Child Alive was born. And 12 years later, KCA has raised over $25 million wow. and supported over 300,000 people. But there's so much more to be done because so many, so many lives are affected by this disease. I wanted to join KCA in this fight because I believe that there's a profound difference between living and life. Living makes sense time for another day, but life is more than sleeping and waking. Life is more than merely existing. And although it may be easier, life cannot be born in the pill. That is why Keep a Child Alive provides more than the pills necessary to fight HIV in Africa and India. It provides the essential nutrition, shelter, support, and education to ensure that those pills are taken properly and effectively. It buys the things that we take for granted but that they make all the difference in the world. Like a bed, a roof, a book, a smile. Mm -hmm. Keep a Child Alive offers children, their families, and entire community a shoulder to lean on and a heart that beats for them. Because Keep a Child Alive believes we all, each and every one of us, can do something far bigger and better than buying the ability to live. We can give the dignity that is life. Be the change in my personal battle cry and the war against AIDS. Like every my talented friends, the First Presbyterian Church in Germantown donating the space and local supermarkets to food, we've been able to raise close to $7,000. Wow. These donated dollars buy food, they buy compassion, they buy love, and eventually they will buy the cure. And ultimately, like my t-shirt says, it'll buy life. Mm -hmm. Theologian Frederick Beekner once said, the place God calls you to is the place where your deep gladness and the world's deepest hunger meet. Mm. This resonates with me because I want to support those infected and affected by the disease. I'm able to share this stage today with so many awesome people who recognize the different ways this world is hungry. The beautiful truth is that each and every one of us has that unstoppable force in us to be the change. We are all extraordinary people. Thank you. Thank you.